Hi there. So Nokia launched six smart TVs today, starting from 32 inch to all the way up to 65 inch. And there is a lot of exciting things about these devices. Some new features and a whole new audio setup in collaboration with Onkyo. Fun, right? So I'll share everything from specs to price and even the details of the additional warranty. But before we begin, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend Texing. Let's get started. All right, no running around the bush. The biggest change to the all new Nokia TVs is the built-in soundbar powered by Onkyo. And that itself should be a good reason to consider the Nokia TV. See, I personally believe good sound makes a huge difference in the overall viewing experience. But yes, specs are important, so let's dive in into that. We'll start with the HD variants first, the 32 inch and the 43 inch. The 32 inch is an HD ready smart TV with a resolution of 1366 by 768 pixels. While the 43 inch is a full HD smart TV with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Apart from the resolution and size, the internals are exactly the same. So here they are. Both have a Cortex A53 quad core CPU, Mali 470 GPU, both have V8 display panels, 1.5 GB RAM and 8 GB internal storage, 325 nits peak brightness, 3000 to 1 contrast ratio, running Android TV 9 OS, Bluetooth 5.0 only single band Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz, 39 watts certified Onkyo surround sound. Wow. Alright, looks brilliant on paper, but let's break it down. A53 quad core is a good performing CPU, VA panel, so deeper blacks and punchier colors, but will still have poor viewing angles. 1.5 GB RAM and 8 GB storage. So 1.5 GB RAM is definitely a plus considering most TVs have just 1 GB RAM. So it should be lag free. 8 GB is decent for HD TVs, of course 16 GB would have just been ideal. 325 nits brightness is really good for a 32 inch and a 43 inch HD panel. Contrast ratio is 3000 to 1 which is fine, Android TV OS so we get Netflix, Disney Hotstar, Z5 and all the streaming apps. But there is no mention of Amazon Prime anywhere, neither on Flipkart or neither on the Nokia website. So either you can download it from the Play Store or probably it's just not available at all. Unfortunately, I can't confirm about that now, but I thought it's important to bring it up to you. Moving on, single band 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Well, obviously dual band would have been better, but it's not a deal breaker for me because single band is more than enough to stream seamlessly on HD TVs. 39 watt Onkyo soundbar is one of the biggest highlights of the Nokia TV. And the best part is 24 watt speaker for mids and lows and 15 watt tweeter for highs. So do the math, 15 and 24 is 39. Basically, with separate speakers, instrument separation and clarity goes to a whole new level. I myself am looking forward to experience this. It should be really amazing. Bluetooth 5.0 But here's a fun thing. These TVs have two-way Bluetooth, which means you can connect your phone's Bluetooth to the TV and stream audio from your TV's soundbar. So technically, you can use the soundbar as a standalone music player as well. Super! I see many people actually using this feature now since the audio quality on this Nokia TVs should be stellar. Coming to the price, the 32 inch Full HD Android Smart TV is priced at 12,999 and the 43 inch Full HD Smart TV is priced at 22,999. Frankly, extremely well priced, especially for the specs, built in Onkyo soundbar, and two way Bluetooth connection. Alright, moving to the four new 4K Nokia TVs 43 inch, 50 inch, 55 inch, and 65 inch. Yes, there are two 43 inch TVs launched Full HD and 4K. So you can see Nokia has gone all guns blazing, full range of HD and 4K TVs. All these are 4K TVs with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels. All have VA panels, so deeper blacks, vivid colors, but they suffer from poor viewing angles. All are running the latest Android TV 9 OS with all the app support. Yes, Netflix, YouTube confirmed, but as mentioned previously, Prime Video is doubtful. All have the same two-way Bluetooth support, so you can make good use of the built-in Onkyo soundbar. All the 4K Nokia TVs support only 2.4 GHz single band Wi-Fi, which is a bummer. Come on guys, 4K TVs and no 5 GHz? Now this is definitely a deal breaker. For some, 5 GHz is very important. Okay, moving on. So all 4K variants have 2 GB RAM and 16 GB memory. 2 GB is good, but thank you for 16 GB. So most smart TVs have 8 GB internal storage, which is just too less considering the apps we download on our smart TVs now. Very soon, probably 32 GB will be a norm. Now, Brightness levels and contrast ratios differ in all. Check this out. 
The 43 inch has 350 nits brightness and 3000 is to 1 contrast ratio, which I think is good enough considering the size. Then the 50 inch has 380 nits brightness and 5000 is to 1 contrast ratio. So bigger size, higher brightness and higher contrast ratio. Good. 55 inch has 420 nits brightness and 5000 is to 1 contrast ratio. That too is really good, however the contrast ratio remains the same. And 65 inch has 450 nits brightness and 5000 is to 1 contrast ratio. Now here I think that the brightness needs to be higher since the canvas is a lot bigger. Uh, by canvas I mean the screen. At least 500 to 600 nits for a 65 inch display is needed. Finally coming to the sound. Yes these two come with built in Onkyo sound bars but they get bigger and more powerful. The 43 inch 4K TV however has the same setup from the HD TVs. 39 watt and with the same 24 watt speaker and 15 watt tweeters. The 50 inch, 55 inch and 65 inch come with 48 watt Onkyo soundbar. It has 30 watt speaker for mids and lows and 18 watt tweeters for highs. Almost 50 watt built in soundbar. Wobi Onkyo, unbelievable. I can't wait to actually experience these. Even if you get a basic soundbar, it's gonna cost you at least 5000. So straight away you save that price and you aren't gonna get an Onkyo for that price for sure. I'm actually impressed with Nokia trying to innovate and make Smart TV a complete package. Coming to the price, the 43 inch 4K is priced at 28,999, the 50 inch is priced at 33,999, the 55 inch is priced for 39,999 and the 65 inch is priced for 59,999. Those are really well priced, especially when you compare them with the competition. They might be a little higher, but then you're getting a lot more. It'll be going on sale on Flipkart, I'll leave the links below in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check these out. If I had to point out the cons, no Dolby Vision support, no dual band Wi-Fi and no confirmation of Amazon Prime. Maybe Amazon Prime is there, but still I can't confirm unless I have the unit in hand. It also boasts of features like micro dimming, 6D surround sound, IMAX enhanced, but I'm not getting into all that as these are big words and unless you actually experience it, it's no sense talking about it. The design and build quality of Nokia devices is usually good, so I don't think you need to worry about that. It also covers all the important ports. 3 HDMI's, 2 USB ports, Ethernet, antenna and even a 3.5 headphone jack. The remote comes with all the basic functions and includes Netflix and Z5 hotkeys. At least that's what we can see on the Flipkart Nokia page. Talking about after sales and warranty. Nokia claims 1 year standard warranty and you get free authorized repair at your doorsteps. They serve 15,000 plus PIN codes and you can also call the customer care and contact them 7 days a week between 9am and 9pm. You can also call the customer care and buy additional 2 years warranty. If you want, I'll leave the customer care number in the description. You can call and check with them. Alright guys, this was it about the newly launched Nokia TVs. Hopefully I'll get my hands on a unit soon, we'll make an unboxing, a full review, so make sure you're subscribed. Links for the Nokia TVs will be in the description, do check them out. I hope this video was helpful, if there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.